what is going on YouTube, Reed here, and in this video, I'll be showing how to update to the just released 5.0.1 software for the iPhone, iPod, and iPad. Let's get started. So like I just mentioned there, iOS 5.1 has been in beta for a few weeks, and now it has been released to the general public. Now, to update this, you can do it via iTunes, but if you're running the, the current iOS 5 software, you can update this to the software um, right from your iDevice via the new feature uh, that was on iOS 5, which is software update via your settings. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have over 400 megabytes on your iDevice in storage. That's in storage. Make sure that you have um, about 500 megabytes available. And how you can tell, easy feature to tell, go into general, click on usage, and you'll see right there how many megabytes you have available. Now this will affect if you can update or not. So make sure you are over, good over, about 435 megabytes. Um, if you are over 535 uh, megabytes, um, just make sure that you it also shows your um, what applications that are taking up space. Delete a few applications, and you should be good to go. So the first thing you're going to do is open the settings application on your iDevice. Open the Generals tab, and you'll see Software Update. Now, uh, once you click that, it should you should see here. It's say checking for update, and there is 5.0.1. So let's talk about what's new in this um, software update. So this is available for the iPhone 4s. Um, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPad 2, iPad, iPod Touch 4th, and 3rd Gen. So, um, there are some minor and major bug fixes. And now, um, let's talk about some major features. Now, for the iPod, we're not looking at some major features. Same with the iPhone. But if you're on an iPad first generation, you can now have multitask task gestures without being jailbroken or whatnot. So, iPad first generation users are getting the multitask gestures. Next, um, it removes some iCloud bugs or some general bugs that were within the iCloud application. If you're an Australian user, they fixed a couple things for you as well. So to update, we're just going to go ahead and click download and install. Now, at this point, I am going to um, fast forward through this. Just going to skip through it just to show you um, in a kind of like time lapse kind of way how uh, this whole process. Because I don't want to just sit here for about like... 15 minutes and just ramble on about anything, but let's get on and click download and install. Agree here. All right, so it is now downloading. Oh, less than one minute. So depending on your Wi-Fi connection, uh, it'll take so it's like we are good here. Um, so depending on your Wi-Fi connection, it will go and uh, do this here so we're almost 50 percent of the way of the downloading process all right so it's now finished we just got a notification um so let's click install here all right so now it is verifying the update um i'm really surprised it only took less than a minute to download the software um i've had trouble updating with itunes before so this is really good apple you guys saved me a lot of time Less than a minute, about 50 seconds to do the download, but I guess it will vary on what Wi-Fi connection you're on, how strong it is, how fast it is. So let's, uh, so it is now verifying the update. And it looks like our iDevice is turning off. I wonder how long this is going to take here. All right, so it looks like our device might be rebooting here. Okay, we're at the Apple logo. Black screen. That's normal. But let's see if I'll be able to get this to work here. All right, so it looks like we are doing a software update via iTunes, but in fact, we are doing this via our iPod Touch here. Um, so, well, it's like things are going pretty smoothly here. Um, so this is what you basically see when you do an up update via iTunes, so very cool. So they kept the default screen for everything. So it looks like it's going to go through some installing processes. Um, when this is done, we will dive into the settings and take a look at some, uh, some cool stuff in iOS 5.0.1. So, uh, let's just, uh, skip on ahead here. Oh. 
Alright guys, so iOS 5.0.1 has finished installing on my iDevice. Um, it just rebooted here. And uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat, it seems like just a little bit smoother to me. Just a tiny bit smoother. Um, my, now, that might just me, but it does seem a little bit smoother. Just to prove that I'm on iOS 5.0.1, if we take a look at my settings app here. You can see right there, under version, 5.0.1, 9A405. So, we are running iOS 5.0.1. Um, the two major features, along with some minor and major bug fixes, is the battery fix for all iOS 5 running devices. Um, if you were on iOS 5, you might have noticed, now it did not affect me, but you might have noticed some battery issues with um, your battery draining uh, really quick. That has been fixed due to an Apple fix. Apple has fixed that, fixed that bug, so that's good. And the second and last major update um, is that the... Uh, iPad first generation will be able to do multitask gestures now. So if you are updating from the original iPad, the original iPad first generation, you can now use multitask gestures. So that is basically it along the lines of uh, iOS 5.0.1. That is how to update. And that's what the big major features and the whole key of it is really about. So thank you guys for watching this video. Check out my uh, gaming channel in the link down below. Check out my website, that is yourdailytechinfo.blogspot.com. There you'll find all of our news articles, videos, and more, all at the click of a mouse. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash take2213. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash technologyworldlive. And I will see you guys in the next video.